Hey guys, in this video I've been asked to finish this implant crown. Now this is very informative and how we're going to do the contacts and the serving and all of that. What I have is I've got the model, the antagonist and the restoration and I've got the abutment and that's already been aligned with the scan body. The scan body scan has already been deleted. So that is really good object management. I'll permanently hide the scan body for now because we don't need we don't need to see it. Now I'm going to unhide the model and we're going to draw out the contacts. I'm going to speed this thing up. I'll just do one and then we're going to speed it up. Note I'm going at an angle because I'd like to actually create an object out of this. Now here's the very important part. Because this is a preface and this is going to be all milled. When you look at this preface, it actually has a an edge loop going around it. So this is actually an open scan with an edge loop. This is going to be fused to our crown. So this is all on the inside surface. This is where the margin is. Now, there's only one path of insertion for this. So this is why we need to make sure that the contacts relate to this path of insertion. Now I'm going to duplicate that, Shift D to duplicate. And you will see in a minute how this works. Select the surface and the other surface. Now the, the duplicate has been selected and then one where, where it says surface has to be selected last. Otherwise you will not be able to survey. So this order is very important. Go to the survey and click survey. Now these objects have been selected for surveying as you see. But what I'm going to do is I'll briefly hide what's underneath it like that to explain. Now, as I've said, this needs to be surveyed so that we get the path of insertion correct, something like that. So there's no other way. These need to be blocked out according to this. Click on block out. Now we're not going to be using the block out because we're going to be using the implant menu to fuse and to make a crown. This one, the temporary um, one, we can delete, the duplicate one, like that. Alt-H to unhide. As I've said, we're not, be, we're not using the block out. But we have the block out of the contacts are correct. And this is exactly what I want to see. We're going to select the two over here, the two contacts. And in this menu, we're going to name these contacts. And they should then become pink like that. The following step is we're going to go to the occlusal adjustments. Now we're going to view the antagonist, select it, make, an, make a cutter. This cutter is 0 0.1, apply. If, it, if your crowns are too high, change that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select this for live trimming. And we can see how it's nipped off my entire anatomy. So what I want to do here is I'm going to set this a little bit lower that, that I don't lose all of my anatomy. The shape of the tooth is not that nice. So we're going to manipulate the mesh a little bit, especially the marginal ridge. We need to, to adjust that a little bit as well. I'm going to move this in like that and just to make sure that it's all 
nice like this I'm having a look like that now and we can move it in a little bit and the marginal reach is a little bit lower for my liking over here so tab edit select it proportional editing on GZ proportional editing and move it up a little bit so we'll just change the anatomy a little bit like that that's looking way better GZ up like that that's better okay tab to get out of it we're going to cut cut this trim it following that we can um, we can continue then to fuse this onto our abutment and here's how we're going to do this scroll down to the implant crowns then we're going to briefly hide the lower segment like that and we're going to be selecting our preface and make a tube out of it so you may have to choose one of the two so I'm going to choose this one first and this is correctly um, this is correctly extruded downwards and this is exactly what I want to see we're going to leave this at 1.2 and we're going to accept that notice where my tooth neck is it's not exactly where I want it to be so I'm going to edit this mesh go into transparent mode using this one over here use the C key the C key to highlight all of these and this is why I've gone into transparent mode so that I can actually select the vertices on the other side so here we can see I'm going to use the G key if it if it snaps like that it means that the magnet tool is on so just take the magnet tool, the tool away and I'm going to move this into the blue tube something like that use the R key and the G key to manipulate this mesh like that something like that now these two the, the blue tube and the actual tooth lie be fused together so this is looking good and now what we're going to do is we're going to fuse these together so click on so have it selected and propose a border cut the mesh and then complete it and then go to the smoothing we can smooth now or we can smooth a little bit later as well so that this is the analog sleeve to make a model then what we're going to do is we're going to unhide the lower segment we're going to go up to the contacts and we're going to view we need to view the contacts select them create a cutter select your implant crown and shape the contacts we're going to hide the lower segment here we can see this we've got quite a lot of contact up top maybe even too much so click on the minus over here to push that inwards although it's going to cut it anyway so that's looking good if you wanted to make a broader contact you can then click on cut then click on smooth with protection and don't do this very carefully because we don't want to take away what we've created exit so here's our crown I do want to smooth it a little bit further so here make it nice and smooth and smooth the actual occlusion here as well a little bit like that exit so here we've got a correct 
path of insertion. We've got our crown which is made. But before we finish, we will cut the hole going through it. Select the screw hole cutter. Bring it up to the top of the inside of the geometry. S to scale, you may have to set the screw diameter. I'm not sure what your screw diameter is. Select it and make a hole going through it. So that's what it looks like.